Hello everyone, this is Drago Milter, and today I'll be showing you a couple of combos with Scorpion. Now we all get that feeling creeping up on us when another player highlights Scorpion. It doesn't hit us in the face until after they've picked them and they're teleporting all over the goddamn place. If you yourself use Scorpion and don't know exactly how to use him to his full potential, by the end of this video you'll be so awesome with him, fighting ability is going to be like two badass motherfuckers fused together. Without further ado, let me cut a slice into what I know about Scorpion. Let's have a look at that combo again. If you're not accustomed to this variation of Scorpion, you're going to have a hard time landing the first three hits. The timing is very specific on them. The moves are forward two, back two, and up one. Like I said before, timing is very specific. Practice the individual moves so that you can see when you can execute them. Once you figure it out, you're going to want to jump up, kick, teleport, back one, two, spear. The reason I do back one, two, spear is because I absolutely use hating two and one to connect everything. Stop doing so, your combos are going to look very bland. Your scorpion is going to look very, very stale, and it's just going to look like all you know how to do, really, is just press 2 and 1 all day with scorpion. Here's a good example of a very lame-looking combo, just using 2 and 1. See it online all the time. Don't be that guy. Now back to the combo. Once you figure out the kicks and the teleport, you're going to land the spear, you're going to jump over the opponent and press 2 to connect the combo. If you press 1, forward 4 will not connect, it won't chain, therefore dropping your combo. So you're going to want to jump over the opponent and press 2. Once you do that, jump over the opponent for 4 EX teleport. Now what's going to follow up after the EX teleport is you're going to sprint. If you're not uh, familiar on sprinting right after, go ahead and practice it. After the sprint, we're going to be canceling to back three, two, forward two. Go ahead and practice doing so now. This is the last part of your combo here. And once you get it all figured out, you'll be able to put all the pieces together. You'll be able to end up with a beautiful combo. This should look something like this. I'm about to show you an extremely practical combo. Personally, I hate this combo because it has too many 2-1s for my taste. 2-1 is one of the only things that changes those uh, demon attacks together. It starts very simple with a simple 1-2-3. One, 1-2-3. Two, three. One, two, three. When you come out of the other side, you're going to do forward 3 spear. Extremely easy to execute. If you're not accustomed to landing that, go ahead and do so now. Once you get past the spear, it's all downhill from there. It's just 2-1, two, demons. 2-1, two, demon. Unfortunately, 2-1 is one of the only things that chains that last demon at the end there. The demon charge. And what this combo opens you up to is mix-up options. You can start with a low combo there, and if the opponent blocks low, you can actually do an overhead spear. And now you know how to do an extremely easy combo that's very effective and practical. It should look like this. Alright, and last but not least is my favorite combo to do online. The Hellfire Scorpion. What makes it unique is that he has a fireball in this variation that you can actually cancel to extend your combo. And that's what we're going to do here. The combo starts off easy enough with a 2, 1, 4, teleport. I'm going to do the back 1, 2 that I told you about into the spear. You're going to use the same tactic when you jump over the opponent. You're going to jump over with 2 and do a forward 4. and 2, 1, and you're going to do a fireball, but you're going to hold it. You're not going to hold it long at all. You're going to cancel immediately after. 
But if you don't hold it, you might accidentally do a spear right after. Once you get the hang of that, that turns into a EX teleport, sprint, back 3 2, forward 2. Just like that first combo with the swords. It's very important to use too when you jump over the opponent to continue with forward 4. Your combo should look like this once you're done. Now I know exactly what you're thinking. You've seen my montage videos and you want to do crazy combos like those. You gotta remember those are highly impractical. And you can't really use them in a fight. I do them sometimes, but if that's what you're here for, then saddle up. I'm all about flair when I use scorpion, so I try to be as stylish as possible in my combos. I like to move all over the place. Now people say that long combos are very impractical because they use too much meter. But actually, if the opponent doesn't have enough to break and you have enough to kill, do it. Combo starts forward 2, back 2, kick, teleport, up 1. You're gonna have a hard time with that up 1 there. Because if you're not, and the people aren't really accustomed to doing it in the middle of the combo, so just practice it. After you land the up 1, you're gonna wanna do a jump kick EX teleport in the air, catch them with 1, and do a spear. Now if you do the input incorrectly, you're gonna end up doing 1-1. One, one. And let's be honest, it's gonna happen to you a couple times, so I suggest you practice 1-1. One, one, and try to input back forward in the middle of it. Just like I did there. Once you get the hang of that, you're gonna jump over the opponent. You're going to press 1 or 2 when you jump over them. You're going to do back 1, 2. EX spears, burn them. You're going to jump at them with 2 and do forward 4. Remember, 2, 2. You're going to use 2. If you use 1, it's not going to connect. Like so. Then after that, you just input 2 and you should be able to land the sword. Combo should end up looking like this. We're going to continue with an Inferno combo with Scorpion. This one's extremely easy to do. It does a lot of damage. Only requires one EX. And you can actually end this one the same one the first one did to leave you open some mix-up options. And this one's very easy. 2, 1, 4. You're gonna teleport right after that and do back 1, 2, demon. You're gonna jump over the opponent and do a regular 1, 2, 3 into an EX teleport. Now, if you do the teleport input too quickly, then you might do it prematurely, like this. Now, if you are having a hard time doing back 1, 2, I guess you could do... 2-1 if you absolutely have to. Back to the EX, you're gonna want to sprint right after so you can land 3. Sprint like that, so you can land 3, spear, and it's all downhill from there. Jump over the opponent, do 1 or 2 in the air, and hit them with the back 1, 2, 1. Just like so. Once your pieces are all together, you're gonna have something like this. Now this is the last combo I will be showing you today. I'm not going to spend too much time explaining it because you should have gotten it by now. On this one you're also going to incorporate the fireball cancel. And at the end you're going to add 1, 2, 3 and slide. 1, 2, 3 and slide will land at the end there because the opponent would have bounced up too many times during the combo. So we're going to have a look at it again except I'm not going to connect the end here so that I can show you what I mean. Check it out, if you do 1, 2, 3, you'll be able to slide right underneath them. That won't work in an ordinary combo. They need to be bounced up this many times for it to land. 
Now, the only difference is you're gonna land a roundhouse at the end there, and then forward three. With forward three, when you catch them, you're gonna wanna hit him right in his ass as he's fallen down. That's the highest one you can hit him with the spear actually landing. And then the rest, you should know by now, the rest is history. And this is what your finished piece will look like. After learning how to do all these combos, you guys ought to be able to create your own with the different variations. The reason I made these combos the way I did is so that you could see the various ways that his moves can be incorporated in combos. Now, if you do learn all these combos with him and create your own combos, you can actually start learning how to play Scorpion and how to use those combos in a fight. How to start yourself, put yourself in a position where you can actually do those combos. And I'll be more than happy to show you guys. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, leave some comments below. Dragon Milter out.